Hi, in this video, I'm going to show how to configure and run ng client, ng serve to serve on HTTPS. By default, it serves on HTTP protocol. Whereas when your application is trying to interact with any third party APIs, which is running on HTTPS, um, recent browsers will not allow to communicate from HTTP localhost URL to an HTTPS URL. So it becomes very essential to, con to configure your local host to run on HTTPS. I'm going to demonstrate how to do all those steps by starting creating a new Angular application. ng new angular HTTPS. Since this is a just a demonstration application, I'm not going to choose any routing feature and uh, choose anything and it will start installing the package yeah the project creation is completed I will go to the project and open it in my visual studio code ID so it's a plain simple project and by, I will show the default behavior of ng-serve. It has compiled successfully and uh, by default it is serving on HTTP protocol. Now the page is being opened. Now you can see that it is being served on HTTP protocol. Now I am going to show the steps how to configure and run on HTTPS. Now I will go back to the command prompt. And stop this. Now we are going to use OpenSSL command to create the localhost certificate and key pair. First, we will begin with creating a configuration certificate configuration file. Um, I will create a new file certificate dot configuration. We need to use this following configuration to create the certificate and key pair. Now I'm going back to the command prompt to issue the command. So this is the command to create a new certificate and the key will be stored in localhost.key and the expiry date I have set to 3560 days by default and the output certificate will be on the localhost.crt file and I'm going to pass the configuration which I just created using certificate.cnf I'm going to run it as you can see localhost crt file and the localhost key file these are the two files which is required to configure Now I open the MN Soul Windows MMC. And I'm going to open the certificates snappings. And in the trusted root certificate, I'm going to right click all task and select import I'm going to browse for the CRT file which I have just created localhost CRT file I have selected the localhost.crt file I have just created and hit next and I'm going to choose this defaults click next and finish do you want to install the certificate? yes the import was successful now I go back to the command prompt and start serving using MD serve but this time with a few more options like SSL option enabled and the SSL certificate and point the certificate file and SSL key pointing to
keyframe. It has compiled successfully and now you can notice that it is now being running on HTTPS protocol. Now I can go back and see, change this to HTTPS and you can see it's a serving secured HTTPS protocol and certificate issued to localhost. Created today, expiring after 10 years. And that's it for now. Thanks for watching.